If you use the excuse that you're too tired to make dinner and you had a long day at work and the last thing you wanna do is spend time in the kitchen, you cannot use that excuse for this recipe because if you make salmon in a cast iron pan, it's no longer than 10 minutes max. It's delicious, it's high in omega-3 fatty acids, it's healthy and you can really pair this with anything you'd like. My name's Chloe Kelly with Reset You Fitness. Go ahead and save this video so when you're at home and you are stressing about cooking dinner, you have this recipe ready. Also share this video with friends and family who like quick and healthy recipes that they can make from home. So to get started for this recipe, you're gonna need a cast iron pan, especially a cute one that matches your dish towel, some tongs, olive oil or avocado oil, salt and pepper, and salmon. And with your salmon, make sure you're getting wild caught salmon. You don't wanna get farmed salmon. What I've done to prepare for this recipe is I've placed our, our salmon, <laughs> the salmon in my refrigerator. So I like to do this about 30 minutes to 45 minutes before I cook the salmon. Take it out of the packaging and go ahead and put it skin side up just on a plate. You don't wanna cover it and put it in the refrigerator. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna dry out the skin a little bit. So when we cook it on the hot cast iron, it's gonna make this so much crunchier and it's gonna taste better. And I'm just gonna set that to the side. Make sure you take your cast iron pan that's already seasoned and put some more olive oil or avocado oil in it a generous amount, and let's preheat our pan. You're gonna wanna do a medium heat. My stove, I feel like it's really hot, so maybe medium to high if your stove doesn't get as hot. You're gonna want your olive oil or whatever oil you're using to be shiny, and make sure it's hot, hot, hot before we put the salmon in, because when we put the salmon in, we want it to sizzle immediately. We don't want it to just like sit and hang out before it's ready. As your cast iron heats up, go ahead and grab your salmon. If you haven't already, uh, make sure it's patted dry. I did that before I put it in the refrigerator. Just make sure it's dry, not a lot of extra liquid hanging out. Let's put some salt and pepper on it. You can do more seasonings, but I think salmon is pretty good with just lemons. And I'm gonna go ahead and flip over and season the other side as well. With this wild caught salmon, it does still have the bones in it, so you just have to be careful when you eat it. What we're gonna do when we put the salmon in the pan is we're gonna put it skin side down and you're gonna wanna take a spatula and you're gonna wanna smash the salmon in the cast iron because if you don't that immediate shock on the salmon skin will kind of curl up the salmon skin which is fine but this way it gets a really nice even crispy skin okay okay and be careful because I still don't have a grease screen and it will kind of pop everywhere let me rinse my hand and again, just go ahead and press on the top of those steaks to keep the skin side down and not curling up. You're gonna wanna cook this for four minutes on the skin side down. And you don't need to move them or shuffle them around, just kinda press them and keep that skin down. And again, be careful from that hot oil, it's gonna be popping. After four minutes on the skin side and sacrificing all of your stainless steel appliances with popping grease. You're going to flip them over and do about two to three minutes on the opposite side. If they're thinner or thicker, you know, you might need to add or subtract time. So just kind of be aware of that. Oops. And make sure you're not using a metal spatula to scrape up your pan. And look at how pretty. And I actually like to even eat a little bit of the skin when I cook it like this. It's really good. So, okay, let's do that for about like two to three more minutes. This little end of the salmon that I cut, it's pretty small and it's a lot thinner than these two pieces. So I'm gonna take it off now, but I'm gonna keep these two bigger pieces on the cast iron. I 
And that looks really good. And you don't want to overcook your salmon because it's going to ruin the whole thing and it's going to really be upsetting. Ooh, I almost slid that off the cutting board. Okay, so now it's been about probably four minutes on this side. These ones are a little bit thicker, so I think they're ready to take off. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the heat and I'm gonna take these off. And they look perfect. So once your salmon's out and it's on your cutting board, you're just gonna wanna double check that it's flaky enough, which it's looking really nice. And I, again, I like to eat the skin on this, but um, you can have your own opinion about that. So take some lemons and go ahead and give them a good roll on your countertop. Then we're just gonna go ahead and slice these. And I like a lot of lemons, so you don't have to do two lemons if you don't want. And if you hold the lemon up like this, squeeze over the top, then the seeds won't get everywhere. Maybe one more, and then you can have slices to serve with the lemon. So now we're gonna go ahead and plate some salmon. You could side this with any vegetable, any carb, rice, broccoli, it's really good with anything. And it's healthy and high in omega-3 fatty acids. I hope you love it.